Pastor you something extraordinary will happen here tonight to the glory of your name thank you Lord In the name of Jesus we have prayed that amen can be better than that please give your neighbor a high five and you may please be seated amen praise the Lord I greet you in the name of Jesus and I have come tonight to announce your next level because whether you believe it or not you are moving forward you are gaining speed you are moving faster better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof because you made the sacrifice of being here tonight God will give you the extra make sure your amen is louder than your neighbor's amen I give God all the glory tonight and I want you to know that you are just warming up. You haven't seen anything yet. Anything yet. The best is about to start. Watch out. The word the Lord laid on my heart tonight is titled Lord Please send me my helper. You cannot fulfill purpose alone. It's not designed that way. There is no way that your purpose, whether big or small, can be fulfilled all by yourself. <laughs> You need your helper. I didn't just say, Lord, send me helpers. Your helper, your own. You need your helper. Your customized helper. And in the name of Jesus, God will send him or her your way. Amen. There are helpers that contain helpers. There is a door that contains doors. There is a blessing inside which there are blessings. That's what I'm talking about tonight. The Bible talks about the blessing. I'm not talking about a blessing tonight. And I'm not talking about blessings. I'm talking about a particular thing tonight. Please say after me, Lord. Lord. Please send me my helper. Let's go to the scripture that God gave to his handmaiden concerning this conference. Let's go inside the scripture. Luke chapter number 1. And I want to read from verse 26. Luke chapter number 1 from verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary verse 28 and the angel came in unto her and said hail thou that art highly favored the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. 
and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth. She hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth had the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 26, a phrase in it caught my attention. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God. Those three words hit me like thunder, thunderbolts. Sent from God. Lord, please send me my helper. Helpers are expressions of grace. No human being is independent. I've said this over and over again that from the womb to the tomb, you need help. From the cradle to the grave, you need help. No matter the purpose, no matter how blessed, no matter how gigantic you are, if you lack help, you will be stranded. If you lack help, you will be naked. May the Lord send you your help. Yeah. Success or fulfillment of purpose, because that's the definition of success. It's not money. It's more than money. Money is the smallest of God's blessings. Any, any idiot can have money. Anybody can have money. There is money, there is wealth. The Bible says, wealth and riches, Psalm 112, wealth and riches shall be in his house. So, there's a difference between money and wealth. You can have money, money and not be wealthy. Today is not <laughs> a day to talk about that. Success is the fulfillment of purpose. But beloved, success can never be separated from helpers. I want to stand in the pool of God's grace tonight to say that God will give you help that will shock you. Amen. There are many angels in the Bible, but in the Old Testament, only two particularly had their names mentioned, Micah and Gabriel. Only two. And it was one of those two that God sent to Mary. Just like you have holy ghosts, you have people ghosts. Mm -hmm. 
There are people that must be present if, in your life in spite of your being chosen. If they are not there, your choice will equal zero. May Jehovah send you your helpers. I'm taking you on a very serious journey tonight. Very serious. This is one message you must carry throughout your lifetime. This tonight's message. You must always remember it. You must always pray about it. Because many people are dead today. Many relationships are dead today. Many visions are dead today because they lack their helpers. They are helpers. Success without helpers will be stranded. Gabriel is one of the only two angels mentioned in the scriptures. And as I studied the scriptures, I discovered that Gabriel's ministry is more of promise and mercy. As I studied the scriptures, he was the one that went to Zacharias. He was the one. We saw him in the book of Daniel in two or three places. He, 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 he has to do with promise and mercy. Angel Gabriel may no longer be sent physically, but there are human beings that are Angel Gabriels. Come along tonight. I was sharing a few days ago, three Sundays ago, I was in a church in Lagos to preach. It was my son that introduced that pastor to me and his heart is good. God has called him into ministry. He used to serve in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. He served for seven years and then the Lord led him to go start a fresh work. Heart, excellent. His wife, fantastic. I've related to them. I know no man in the flesh. Good people, good-hearted people. This Sunday, it was the second time I'll be preaching for them. This Sunday, as I came in, they took me to their green room or their or the office, and then they began to tell me how discouraged they are. In fact, the pastor said, my wife did not come to church last Sunday. The wife said to me, mommy, I'm, I'm almost going into depression. Where is God? I know he called us. What's going on? And I began to challenge them. I began to tell them to give thanks. And all that. By the time we were done, you know, they were on their faces. A few minutes, we gave thanks to the Lord, and then I went to the service. When I got into the service, they made me sit between them. Praise worship, or somebody was ministering in song. I sat, and I felt led to pray for them for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, very unusual. I would have stood up, jumped, because I'm a worshiper. You know, I would have been. I was just praying, Father, for bringing me here today. Encourage this man of God. Give me a token. Show something unusual. What you've never done. What he will never finish. I wish I had prayed for myself that day. Also. I prayed. It was time to preach. I stood up. And while I was preaching, I heard myself saying, man of God, God is going to send somebody your way. He's a man. 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 Is he married? I don't know his marital status. I don't know his marital status. I was hearing myself saying that. I don't know his marital status, but God is going to send him your way. It's going to be a brush with destiny. Brush. It's going to bless you once, but you will never recover from it. That was what I heard myself say. I said, God is bringing that person. While I was preaching, the person came in. I didn't know. Then I continued preaching. After I finished preaching, I felt led to take a seed from them. And I said, they told me in the office that they were trying to get a property. The property would be 120 million naira. They have 10 million. They have fixed it. And they are trusting the Lord that before December, they will have another 10 million. So they can put everything together and go to the owner to say, we have 20 million, please. We want this property. So when I was preaching, 
After I finished preaching and I felt led to take a seat, I said, I'm going to give you one million naira. I want other people to please join me. Let's encourage this couple because I know they're in the will of God. About five or six or seven people came out. I said, let me have, we have seven already. You can give 500, you can give 250. Let's, let's, let's pay, let's make a deposit for this house. Suddenly one man stood up and began to do like this. <laughs> then he passed me and stood in the front. So I said, I need to know the exact amount we have so we know how to pray. How much are you going to give? How much are you going to give? Then I asked the man, how much are you going to give? The man said, 250 million. I dropped the microphone and said, pardon me. I said, what did you say? He said, 250 million naira at least. He added that statement, at least. I first staggered like this. <laughs> then I came back. I said, can I tell you? He said, if you are led, man. I said, this man said he's going to give 250 million naira. Imagine what happened. If you could do this, imagine what happened in the church. God will give you help that will shock you. There is something on my head tonight. God will give you help that will shock you. What is coming upon your life today, you will never recover from it. Take your seat. The pastor's wife was on the floor. You can imagine. They just spoke with me. When eventually I was able to hand over the microphone, the pastor carried the microphone. If you don't understand, you'll forgive me, but this is what the pastor did. I'm a coco. I am you. Mori, Mori. Mommy, boy, chef. I was just going like this. I'm a coco. <laughs> when eventually I found out who the person was, Jesus, the man has, he has an estate in Lagos, 500 units of houses. Walked into church. I hadn't even finished preaching. When the prophecy came, 250 million. That is an angel, Gabriel. <laughs> Don't be deceived by this size. Oh. There's something here. There's an unbroken walk with God oh, standing before you tonight. did not solicit for that visit. Maybe she just finished gossiping. Which woman doesn't gossip? For good or not bad. <laughs> this morning I saw a dress. I said to my daughter, go and ask that lady. That's gossip. I said, go and ask that lady. Where did she buy that dress? I like it. Maybe she just finished gossiping. Maybe Joseph just left the house. And Joseph was there saying, oh, we should get my party, man. You know we are not yet married. Be careful. You know. <laughs> and then suddenly, co 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 knock of joy. Knock of joy. Knock, knock, knock of joy. 
say I receive it. Shout I receive it. Now listen beloved. Blessings are in levels. I've tasted some. If I sit down and I have to pray a message on blessings, I'm sure it will be like seven stages. Blessings are in level. There is a blessing that you pray and pray and bind and loose and pray and pray and pray. Then it surfaces. But the one I'm talking about and I'm initiating you into tonight is the one that you don't even know it's coming. Even know it is a level. Do like this, it's a level. Do like this, it is a level. That's what you call another level. Let, let me take you through this. This one was not solicited for. She we are trying. We preachers, we are trying to tell you, you've been chosen. Yes, you have to know. This one, she didn't even know. There was a knock. Knock of joy. Knock of mercy. Knock of progress. Some of you, this week, you will hear on your telephone knocks of joy. Some of you, before Christmas, you will receive knocks of joy. From the government, from local, from national, from people, from different places. The Bible says they were all baptized. All the heads that are here tonight, even the ones inside the womb, you are pregnant. I carry all your heads. I baptize them into joy. Shout, I receive it. Lord, please send me my helper. My helper. This one is not about grammar. This one is not about I know how to. I'm touch. It's no, 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 no. We're talking of raw blessings and miracles that you cannot deny. Even your enemies will know this one is God. That's what is coming now. The Bible says when that passage. The angel Gabriel came unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. So, this happened in a specific location. Specific location. Some people are supposed to be living in Milton Kings. They are living in Southampton. And the angels have been knocking and knocking and knocking and giving their places to wrong people. Because the gift and the callings of God are without repentance. Specific location. Locations are very important when it comes to fulfillment of purpose. Very important. The angel didn't go to Jerusalem. The angel did not go to Babylon. The angel did not go to any other city. We have like Eliad. There's a city called Eliad in Israel. That's where they sell gold. The angel did not go there. The angel came to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. When you should be present, you will not be absent. Amen. Can you imagine the day God and two other beings, I think they were God, the Father God, the Son God, the Holy Spirit, came visiting Abraham in his tent. And the Lord said, where is Sarah thy wife? Imagine if Sarah had gone to see Mrs. Lucifer or Mrs. Jezebel. This waka 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 running around, not being able to sit where you should sit. You must visit this and visit that and visit that and visit that. I thank God for friends, so but I don't have. The sacrifice of friendship is too much. So I have developed the only friendship I need in my husband and now with my children. I'm very comfortable with that. I work with people that are my seniors. Because my mates do not have what it takes to take me to the next level. And me, I am easily bored. I'm easily bored. I'm thinking, what next? 
What next? What next? People are celebrating. We thank God for you. I thank you, but it's already in my past. I'm crying in the presence of the Father. What next? My life cannot end like this. Mother, that's what is that the only thing? Lord, what next? All this waka, 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 going to where you should not go. People placing demands on you. May you be in your city of Galilee named Nazareth the day your angel Gabriel will come. Psalm 31 and verse 21. Blessed be the Lord. Psalm 31 verse 21. For he had showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. God is specific. When you should be in a city, you should not be in a village. When you should be in a particular continent, you should not be in another one. The meek will he guide in judgment. Psalm 25 and verse number 3. May God guide your feet. Amen. And you not walk into trouble. Amen. Verse 27. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Now hear this. Mary had her plan. And her life laid out. But heaven interrupted her plan. She would have ended as Mrs. Mary Joseph. And that would have been all. Normal. Forgotten. Regular. Got married. Had children. She had her plan. For her to be dating, quote and unquote, a man, means that she had a plan to get married. She had her plans. She was espoused already. Everybody knew. So... But heaven interrupted. She was planning for her wedding. Heaven interrupted. I pray tonight. God, please interrupt our plans. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, interrupt our plans. Yeah. Mary was planning for her wedding. She was not Preparing or expecting to carry the Savior. Nobody will have remembered her. She will have ended as Mrs. Joseph. But today, everywhere, she became the mother. Even Elizabeth said, how come that the mother of my Lord may have interrupt your plan? Yeah. It's a serious prayer I'm praying for you today. Your plan is so cheap, it's so small. It can't feed you, not to talk of feed your children and then you leave. They also say, good man, leave it an inheritance. How do I know you are good? What are you leaving behind for your children? If your children can finish what you are leaving behind, you are a bad man. It's the Bible. A good man leave it an inheritance for his children. And then the children cannot finish it, so they pass it on to the children's children. That's the Bible. See how she will have ended. And then what she didn't expect came. <laughs> I have a feeling that when the angel came, Mary was not praying. The Bible would have said it because the Bible says in previous verses, Zechariah was offering. So the Bible would have said, and Mary was praying in tongues when the angel, maybe she was even playing Ludo. I'm just trying to picture what happened. Unsolicited help. It's coming your way. Yeah. It's a difference between you looking for something and something looking for you. In Psalm 20, the Bible says, but the Lord, remember your offering and send you help. This one, God sends. We're looking at that scripture. Gabriel sent from God. So Psalm 20 tells us, send you help from the sanctuary. Send is a realm. Numbers 31 and verse 41. Numbers 31 and verse 41. Moses gave the tribute which was the Lord's heave offering unto Eleazar the priest as the Lord commanded Moses. This is serious. Eleazar was Moses' nephew. Eleazar was Aaron's son. Moses did not give that to Aaron. He gave it to Eliezer. Ah. Second Samuel chapter 9. 
2 Samuel chapter 9, and David said, verse 1, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Mephibosheth did not know. He wasn't looking for it. That's what I'm trying to drive at. Just like Mary was not expecting the angel. Mephibosheth was not expecting it. He was in low deba. And somebody somewhere said, <clears throat> I feel like blessing somebody. <clears throat> Is there nobody? As I'm standing on the altar of God tonight, somehow, somehow, from the north to the south, the east and the west, somebody will just remember you. <laughs> That your amen is not good at all. Yeah. Take your seat. Two years ago, I just sat down. Jejele, when I had a call, a lady said to me, the Lord told me to give some thousands of dollars to some ministers, to 13 ministers. And ma, you are one of them. <laughs> I first danced. I first danced. I didn't solicit. I didn't even know she had dollars. In fact, I met her only once in my life. But whether she was praying or she was sleeping, the almighty God that doesn't forget spoke to her. That's the realm I'm holding your hands under the Holy Spirit tonight to take you to. When you don't need to pray about it or solicit for it, it will be sent to you. Amen. Say, I catch it. I catch it. Speaking about customized, specific, personal, direct helper. That's what I'm talking about. One of my fathers and the Lord shared this with me and it blessed me. So I want, I, want to, I want to chip it in for you. In Genesis chapter 2, the Bible says in verse number 18, and the Lord said, it's a very popular scripture that we all read, wedding ceremonies and all that. And the Lord said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him an help meet for him. The man didn't solicit. The man didn't beg. He was just tending the sheep. He was just doing his own thing. And God looked at him and said, mm, there's a customized help that will fit you. Mm, mm. You don't even know that you have this need. Because if you had known, you would have prayed. Mm, I will make a help meet for you. And sometimes you just interpret that scripture. I read English language in the university. There's what we call deep structure meaning. There's what we call surface meaning. That's the regular meaning. We just read it and we know it's, for, it's about marriage. But it's deeper. It's deeper. You can get to that level in life. When God will just look at you. And say this thing will fit him. Or this Range Rover will fit him. Yeah. I took my granddaughter to the hospital a few months ago. Then I put her on my back so that the mother could rest. My daughter and I said, sleep. This is what grandmas do. So I was, as I was doing that, my phone just rang. Ground. Ah, and somebody I knew. Hello, my sister, how are you? She said, mom, the Lord told me to bless you with a Range Rover. The baby almost fell. <laughs> my daughter in law said, Mom, Mom, what I said? Hey, come on, join me, sing, girl. And I'm a Range Rover freak. That's the best car. And when she sent me the Range Rover, she, she, I had a Range Rover. As I speak before you now, I have two Range Rovers. Souls are still perish, and souls will still perish. I have to. And I want to sell one. So we can complete the hospital. What you are not expecting for good, 
the God that called me, if I be a woman of God, he will give it to you. Maximum in 72 days. Maximum, maximum. Your story will have been completed. The arrangement will have been completed. Say amen two more times. That Genesis chapter 2, the Bible says, that verse 18, it was God that initiated it. A help meet, a customized help, a specific helper for him. There were animals there. The cheetah, the lion, the dogs, and everything. They were helpers too. But that's not the kind of help. This one is specific. Very, very specific. So that means every creature is a potential helper. But not everyone is sent to you. Every creature of God is a potential helper. But not everyone is sent to you. When Jesus met that man in John chapter 5, the man that had been there 38 years, and Jesus said, will you be healed? The man said, I have no man. Excuse me. 38 years. There were men there now. There were human beings there. Passing and going. But they were not his helper. So what I'm talking about tonight is different from casual helpers. If you go out now and you see a woman carrying an umbrella, carrying a baby, carrying, you help her. Say, can I help you and put this in the car? But you're not her helper. You're a casual helper. You help and you go. The one I'm talking about now, they stay with you till till you get there. Please catch it. The ones God said he has anointed me to distribute tonight. They stand by you till you fulfill purpose. May God send them your way. Sit down. Many men had passed that man for 38 years. Men passed. Women passed. Children passed. Everybody passed. Penina had children. Anna could have sent them on error. But her own. Jesus Christ was the Gabriel sent to that man that day. He said, I, I need a man. Is that your own that I'm talking about? Your own. One woman looked at me. She works with one of the outcomes. She said to me a few years ago, you are the reason why I am living. I will make you comfortable as long as I have breath. That's the kind I'm talking about. People that will not allow you to look at what you like three times before they give it to you. That's people I'm talking about. And they will not use it against you. You don't understand because you have not started enjoying it. It's just salary, business. There is another life. Oh. There's another life. They are simply fires of purpose. When they are in your life, people will think you have power. That is why if you, are, if you are married to a good wife, that's your helper. If your husband is a good man, that's your helper. That's your helper. They just step into your life. And they just stay put. They just say, as long as I have breath, you can't fail. It's not convenient for them. They are there. I used to have a driver like that. One day I prayed for him. That prayer landed him in America. My driver. Sometimes he will be shivering. Malaria. I would not know. He would drive me to Bini. And then when he sees that I've gone out to preach, he will go and buy Panadol. He was the one that was telling me later. People will come, you drove her. You are this place. They will be putting their head on my car. Put it. Put it. He served me. One day I prayed for her. I said, ah, how can you serve like this? Landed him in America. Today he's something. They become inconvenient just for your life to shall be good. He didn't say in the sixth month 
Angel Gabriel came. He said, Angel Gabriel was sent from God. That's what I have come to share with you tonight. Sent. Help. Sent from God. It's different. It's different. The help that is sent from God is different. It's different. Joy is different. The one sent from God is very different. Very specific. Custom made. It fits you. It suits you. They become inconvenient. It doesn't matter. People call them names. It doesn't matter. People say all sorts of things. It doesn't matter. They say, I am sent from God. Tonight, they will locate you. The Holy Spirit on my inside tonight is creating your own help. Oh God. The Bible says they gave Esther her own thing. When you were coming to planet Earth, there was a help with your name tag on it. This one is not my husband bought me a car. No. Your husband buys you a car because it's your husband. It's his duty. Eh, my wife is standing by me. No, that's not the one I'm talking about. There is one called sent from God. Stretch your two hands to heaven. To heaven. The Gabriel that will be sent from God shall locate you. As long as we have the sun and we have the moon, you will not be stranded. They will be the ones to fight for you. They will recommend you. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. The one I'm talking about is not just somebody that wishes to help you but doesn't have what it takes. Mm. No. Ah, if only I had money. Ah. Uh -uh. That's not the one I'm talking about. The one I'm talking about, the one that is sent from God, has what it takes to lift you. That's what it takes. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Open your mouth and say, Lord, Lord please, send me my please send me my helper. The one that is spe sent specifically, stay till you finish they help you till you get to where you are going Ruth chapter number 3 Naomi said my daughter shall I not seek rest for you that it may be well with you your God sent helpers always stay they stay they stay and people come into your life they stay with you for 3 years and then they see your nakedness, or they see when you are down or something, and they leave, they're leaving. They are not sent from God. They are what my villagers will call Mogwa Moya. They're just passing. Your own stays. When Mary said, how shall it be? Blah, 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 blah. The angel said, the power of the Holy Ghost will overshadow you. That's the one said. That's the characteristics. I'm closing very shortly. That's the characteristics of the one sent from God. When she saw him in verse 29, I'm saying in Luke chapter 1, she was troubled at his sin and cast in her mind, what manner of salutation this should be? Sometimes your helper doesn't look like it. The situation looks confusing. What's going on here? What, what are you talking about? The angel said to her, fear not Mary for thou hast found favor with God. So, this is the explanation for Mary's choice. Favor. She didn't qualify. This is the explanation. What's the meaning? To prefer somebody, especially in an unfair way. Uh, and this person has experience, so you know, to uh, appoint the person that doesn't have experience and uh, that's favor. Everybody will see that uh, uh, to prefer you, especially in an unfair way, in an unfair manner. So he went on and on and on, you shall conceive in your womb, blah, 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 and all that. And then while he was speaking, he said something. Behold thy cousin Elizabeth. She has also conceived. So, the angel 
hinted Mary about who to accompany with in this season of her life. The angel didn't tell her, go to Elizabeth. The angel just mentioned it in person. Why would the angel say that? You must be sensitive to heaven's signal. There are days when the Lord doesn't want you to pass the same route. September 11, when they had that, when America had that, whatever, one of our brothers in church, he had relocated to New York. He had passed that route for nine, nine or 11 years. And that morning, it occurred to him. We're not even saying the Holy Spirit. Now it occurred to him to take another route. It looked stupid. A longer route. But that was what saved him. When heaven hints you, you cannot over obey God. You cannot say it's the devil. There are biblical things that once your angel Gabriel mentions it, you pick the signal. For instance, the Lord says for the next three days, give me praise. You should pick it and do and overdo it. Locate a widow and bless that widow. It can that can be the devil. The angel did not say, stand up now. So that nobody will eat up this. So that they go to Elizabeth. No. I said, your cousin. But no information from heaven should be wasted. Information. Sometimes the Lord will tell you, don't tell that person that thing. You carry your mouth, you tell the person. And the vision dies. But the person steals it. So Mary said, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. Be to me according to your word. Use your mouth to affirm your destiny. Accept your purpose. So she stood up and went to Elizabeth's place. You know the story. I don't want to go into that. I said this a few days ago and I want to say it again. Beware of expired mentors. That I've been following you before doesn't mean I must continue to follow you. If you stop following God, I will stop following you. Some mentors have expired. Beware of jealous colleagues. And beware of parasitic proteges. Name droppers. They just want to use you to rise. Beware of expired mentors. Beware of jealous colleagues. I'm going to Paris. Ah, and I wanted to go. In fact, I had even... Uh, ah, so what about... Ah, and I was just thinking of going to that Debbie Ham. So anything you want to just... Uh, jealous. That's the sign. They're always trying to compete with you. My husband just gave me a car. Where would you... Ah, ah, you won't believe it. Yesterday in our house, we were just talking about... Madam, shut up. You are jealous. <laughs> and jealousy is evil. The Bible says, who can stand before envy? Jealousy is rage. Madam, shut up. She said her own force. So rejoice with her and go your way. And be biting your Ah, my husband said this thing. No. But don't say it to spoil the person's joy. Beware of parasitic proteges. It can be somebody that you are dating. Ordinary handkerchief. That person has not bought for you in 18 months. And he will, he will plan to come to your house when he knows the rice will be cooked. It's parasitic. I want to close on this note then I'll pray for you. That Genesis 2 that I said one of my fathers shared with me I want to go back to it. It is not good that the man should be alone. So what did God do? He gave the man an injection and made the man to sleep. Then now you cannot afford to miss this one. This is the Jewish. He now took from the man to create his specific helper. Somebody say, Lord, Lord send, me my helper. send me my helper. The helper that God 
God gave, the specific helper that God gave to Adam, where did he take the raw material from? From who? So listen very carefully. What will attract your own helper is inside you. And until you allow God to take it, the helper can't show up. If Adam had struggled and said, God, don't give me that anesthesia. Don't, no, 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 no. Then there wouldn't have been any Eve. Do you, do you mean God couldn't have created Eve from the dust? After all, he created Adam from the dust. Why did God take from Adam? Why did he take the raw material for his helper, his own, his specific helper from him? If you are going to move to this level we are talking about, then some things must be taken from you. You must give God some things. There are about five of them, but I'll share maybe just three. The first one is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Now, don't preempt the Holy Spirit on my inside. Ah, instance, now, yes, we can dance. And dance. Listen, beloved. The kind of thanksgiving I'm talking about is the one you give when there is no reason to give it. Jesus got to Lazarus' tomb, saying, Father, I thank you. Is that what he should say? Somebody is thinking, smelling four days. He said, I thank you. That's the kind I'm talking about. When you have reasons not to thank God, that's the kind of thanksgiving that will produce your helper. There were 5,000 people. Jesus said, go look around. He said, there's nothing, only two fishes. He said, Father, I thank you. Yes. When you cannot trace God, and you can still thank him, then you are giving God specific raw materials to mold your helper. Anybody can thank God. You just got married. Ah, you will thank God now. You will dance in church. Choir is not dancing. You will be the choir self. Just be singing. You just got a car. Hey, hey, hey. Even your steps that day as you come to church. Everybody will know. Excuse me. Anybody can thank anybody. Can praise the Lord anybody. But when it doesn't look like it. When it appears as if his promises are failing. When you have prayed, you have fasted, you have discovered purpose, you have done everything, you have sown seeds, and it doesn't look like it, then you now decide to prove the devil wrong. And you become mad with your thanksgiving. Any little thing, you dance in church. Any small thing, you prostrate before God. Any little thing, you shout. Hey, do you have the job? He's coming. You dance and dance and dance. Then God says, this one, I have enough raw materials to produce the help that is meet for that situation. Lord, send me my helper. The second one is your tears. Your tears. I cry a lot before God. If you are Dry eyes, you are wicked. If you are dry eyed, they should check you. What's that to me? Me, I don't cry. Ah, I don't cry. You, we should run away from you. Nothing makes you cry. If you are not a witch, you'll be a wizard. <laughs> no matter what people go through, no matter the worship, no matter what's going on, me shed tears. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, I suspect you. Your tears and the tears in two ways. The first one is the tears you shed on behalf of people. Father, look at that sister, she's a widow. Say that help because says, What? Lord, look at my husband. God, they are mocking him. God says, What? God doesn't ignore it. Then the second one is the tear you shed on behalf of yourself. 
but that is beyond you. Father, I cry before you tonight. Look at this situation. If you can just bless me, I will. Then your main helper is coming. Your tears. The third one is your treasure. That word is not treasure, it is treasure. Just that that word is not pressure, pressure it is pressure. Mm -hmm. In the one, one. A treasure. It was what God took from Adam that God used to make the help from him. That's the other side of this message tonight. Somebody is warming up to help you. Yeah. You don't even know the person. Yeah. It can be white, it can be black. The person does not even know you, but heaven is flashing your name. Yeah. Go to number so, 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 so. MK5, MK6, M7, AG, MK, you know. Just, just, just flashing it. Put your address. MK, put your postcode. Let J.J. Gabriel here. Say it, say it, let God hear your own, no? Oh. Number one, Agape Avenue. Possibility ground. Number two, where? Yes, street. How about you have had stand up? We will give God that first one, Thanksgiving. I want to give you three minutes. Locate one corner. This one, you don't pray it standing. Get a corner. Don't let anybody hear what you're about to tell God. Give thanks to the Lord by yourself. Locate a corner. We're not singing. I want everybody to just locate a corner. Quick, 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 quick. Tell the Lord. I'm set, Lord. I'm ready for a new level. Gabriel, where are you? Knock, 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 knock. It's very serious. So do your own. I'm doing my own. I'm tired of where I am. Don't let anybody hear what you are telling God. It's between you and God. You and God. Locate a corner. Take any posture. This is serious. My own helper, customized. You want that we stay until I get there. Until my purpose is fulfilled. Lord, send me my helper, my own Gabriel. I know I don't qualify. Let your promise and your mercy Exchange, exchange, Lord, exchange. Include me in the list. Maybe Gabriel even went somewhere before he came to me. Maybe that person was not at home. I've been chosen. But Lord, there's no way I can fulfill this purpose. If you don't send me my own helper, send me my own helper, my own helper, my own helper. My Let's begin to bring our prayers to a close. Father, we stand upon Ephesians 3.20. Please do beyond our thoughts and imaginations tonight. Send us our own helper. The one that we <laughs> stay and stand till we get there, till we make it. We receive in the name of Jesus. Whatever we hinder that helper, I rebuke it. Amen. Be it our own mistake or anybody speaking something, I rebuke it. Amen. We will fulfill our purpose. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. I'm going to be teaching this morning on let's talk about sex. Proverbs chapter 5, if you are there, say amen. I 
I'll start reading from verse 1. If it uses a gender word, son, you put the word daughter. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ears to my word of insight. That you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of an adult cross woman drips honey. And her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as gall. Sharp as a two-edged double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths wander aimlessly, but she, know, she does not know it. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house, lest you lose your honor to others and your dignity to one who is cruel. Lest strangers feast on your wealth and your toil and reach the house of another. At the end of your life you will groan and when your flesh and body are spent, you will see how I hated discipline, how my heart spurned correction. I will not obey teachers or turn my ears to my instructors. And I was, and I was soon in serious trouble in the assembly of God's people. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the street, your streams of water in the public square, let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth, a loving doe, a graceful deer. May her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be intoxicated with her love. Why, my son, be intoxicated with another man's wife? Why embrace the bosom of a wayward woman? For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your paths. The evil deed of the wicked ensnare them. The cords